Oh, we're putting one up too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know what you signed up for, did you? Not. Good right. thing on the camera. In the bag, right? right? Woman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Today, hey, by the way, here's a new stack pack. Leopard 45. So today we are, there's a, a leopard flotilla happening. So we decided we're going to be the fun boat. So we blew up all our toys and we have like a water world type of village here. And here's the leopard group coming in. We are getting ready to go to the beach. Today is day two of the Leopard Owners Flotilla here in the Bahamas in, well, today's May 1st, actually, 2022. And it's leopard night. And look, I didn't even know I owned anything leopard print. Whoops. But I have a bikini, it's leopard print, woo! So. I, I don't know if there's pink leopards though. Well, not in reality, but who lives in reality anymore? That's true. So there's some sort of special drink and we were instructed to bring our own cups with ice. So we're ready to go. Woo! <laughs> leopard, 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 leopard. Leopard, 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 leopard. Leopard. Leopard, leopard, leopard. Who put that? Who put that down papers over there? Leopard, leopard. <laughs> this is the leopard spotted leopard party. Uh -huh. Yeah, look. At oh my God. It's the leopard flotilla sandbar party. First in my heart. Oh, right. yeah. All right. We just came through this cut. It's by Foul Key, right? Yeah. This we just came through. Start over. We just came through this cut right next to Fell Key, and the water's so cool that we actually stopped. We're turning around, we're gonna do it again so that I can record it. So here's the story. Our main sail was looking a little bit tattered. You saw in a prior episode that Jeff cleaned it. He spent a lot of time cleaning it and he did a great job, but it still had mildew stains over it. And um, it had a bunch of little tears on the luff and the leech. 
and we had an opportunity to buy a brand new Leopard 45 mainsail from Leopard. Someone had purchased a 45 recently, and as soon as they got it, they changed the boom to an unfurling boom and didn't need this main. So we bought it from Leopard, thinking all Leopard 45s are the same, right? Well, they're not. <laughs> Apparently, um, we have an older version of Leopard 45, which we know that. And um, when they put the lounge upstairs, the boom must have gotten longer. We measured ours, we measured our neighbors, and their boom is a foot longer than ours. And we noticed that there was a big difference when we were putting this main up. What you doing, babe? We've got a new mainsail. And our friends on our Leopard 50 down there just delivered it to us from Fort Lauderdale. How nice of them. I know, it was a nice delivery. Yeah. Free delivery. Well, it'll cost us a few beers. Well yeah. worth it. Yeah. And this is Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. For thank thank me when it's over and everything's working right. Okay. It's our Leopard 45 stack pack. Step one. Raise the main. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the reefing light out from here on this side, and we're going to take it out from the other side and leave it in the boom. That way, you don't have to run it through the boom again. And that should work. We take the lazy jacks down now, and then the sail's like right here, ready to go. Okay. You agree? Yes, I agree. Let's take them down. You take that side, I'll take this side. Did you learn something very important? I did. Tell us what you learned. Oh, I learned to get off of that. Oh. 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 Okay, so it's one thing. Don't step on the battens while your wife is taking them out. Right. With your foot. And number two? Number two is these are fiberglass rod battens. Oh, you got a fiberglass cut? No, I didn't get a fiberglass cut. What I did get was a gazillion shards of fiberglass oh, embedded no. in my hand right there. Oh my God. So do not ever run your hand oh. down a fiberglass rod batten. Cause it itches like hell. Oh, glad I didn't do that. Yeah, well, I Cause I'd be crying right now. I'd be going to a doctor right now. So we got the battens in the stack pack. That's all ready to go, the new stack pack. And we got, how many battens did you take out of this? Well, that was changing Three, the cameras. Three, I'm working on the fourth one right now. How many are there, five, six? I think there's five. They, they, they're getting bigger though, aren't they? Yes, they're getting bigger. They're getting much bigger. And the last one is gonna be difficult because I don't know where to put it. Mm. Yeah. Because it's so big, I don't know where to put it. That's what she said. Okay. Hey, listen, this is a pretty damn good job for doing it on top of our coach roof. You know, I'm very happy with it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Chris, you do need a pedicure. I oh do. my I god. I wasn't god. planning to be on film today with my legs. Ready? Keep it's slide and I see it. No, I think that might fit in that bag. <laughs> Maybe. You can see that the foot of the sail is not flush with the mast and there's not a lot of wind so it shouldn't be hanging out like that. It shouldn't be bowed out like that. It should be nice and tight and it's not. Um, and if you look up here, you can
can see that there's some play here and there really shouldn't be. It should be nice and tight, but we can't go any higher because it's all the way at the top and it's too tall. I don't understand the height difference, um, but it's too big, not by a lot. So we're going to sail with it today and see how it goes. Um, not sure if we're going to keep it, um, if we're going to try to return it. Maybe we'll try to have it cut down if it doesn't work, but it, you can't get it tight because it's just too big for us. Um, so we'll see what happens, but word to the wise for leopard owners and, and maybe all sail owners, all boat owners actually. If you're going to buy a main or a jib or something off of somebody else, make sure that you get the dimensions ahead of time and know what you're getting. Leopard flotilla day three. Two, four, and we are at Rachel's bubble bath. And we got a shit ton of leopards out there. I don't know who put that monohull there, but this, ooh, and there's a hot, there's a hot leopard girl right there. We got Lab Mariner right here. I still haven't met the dogs. I don't know if they're real or not. You should have been with us uh, earlier today. We went on a- Dog run? Uh, yeah, two mile dog run. I think the dogs are stuffed and they're not real. And that's why I haven't, I haven't met them. But- Hey, we'll, dogs you don't hear? <laughs> That's a good thing. You gotta wait for the bubbles to come over, then you jump. One more time, one more time. Hi, these are all the leopard folks. You got glasses and everything. Oh. This is the bubbly. Okay, explain why. We are at the bubbly pool. <laughs> they are so smart. How is it that we didn't think about them? <laughs> so we're heading from O'Brien Key to Water Wells, and we're going to take this shortcut that goes around this very narrow section here up and out into the Atlantic. You gotta go right next to the island. This is kind of interesting today. We're leaving O'Brien Key um, and heading up to Warderick Wells and it might be the last time we're here for a long time. We're um, slowly, slowly making our way back to Florida via Eleuthera. We've never been there before, so we're looking forward to that. Um, and then we're going to head to St. Augustine for a little while and <clears throat> jump the Gulf Stream and go up to New York and New England for the summer. We've spent almost six months here this year. We spent three months here last year and we spent two weeks here in 2019. And um, we, we absolutely love, love, love the Bahamas. So this trip is kind of bittersweet. You know, we're going up to one of our favorite places in all of the Bahamas probably for the last time, for a while. Sometimes when you're sailing and you've got no wind, you need to improvise and you use whatever tools you have on the boat. So we have this paddle ball game with the rope and the ball and you do this, but our grandson keeps pulling the ball off because I, I don't think he can do it. So I can't just, do it either. I can do it. <laughs> this is defective. And this is an, an old sailor's technique, which a lot of people don't know about, but we're very experienced, so we do this all the time. When there's no wind in the jib, I go over here and I do this. Oh, it's so much better. Yeah, we're, we're going at least two knots faster now. I'm sure of it. Oh, look over there. They're cheating. Power boats. Oh, They're look. cheating. Look. Oh, it worked. It's, it worked. See that? It worked. You're a genius, honey. It worked. Yeah. This is way, this is a proven sailor's technique. So that's, nice job. So that's just a, a we're going to do a sailing tip um, segment every, every video. No, we're not. We're not going to do a sailing tip. No, we're not. So, but this is the first sailing tip video. The difference between living in a house and living on a boat is you hear stuff under your house. Maybe it might be a, a mouse or a squirrel or a rat or something 
time we hear something under your boat, you get this. Say hello everyone, the Redneck Yacht Club. Everyone say hi. Hey. Where are we going? We're going to Boo Boo Hill. And what are we doing at Boo Boo Hill? Well, we've been here about 12 times and we finally made a driftwood sign and I'm not proud of it, not at all, but it was a, a little... tough piece of driftwood. So it didn't have any flat surfaces on it. So I kind of did the best I could. And our friends on island time had to leave this morning. They couldn't stay to do the hike. So we're taking their driftwood with us. She did a really good job on hers. She was a teacher and she took art classes, so she has an advantage. Sink down lower, babe. Sink yeah, lower. You can do it. Go ahead, go ahead. Get your legs a little wider. <laughs> I'm exhausted from that, but. <laughs> Whew. That's pretty rough. I've yeah. been exercising with these people. All right, show me all your the, six packs. Show me your six Liar! <laughs> look at that, look at that. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Abs of steel right there. Sorry, <laughs> Abs of something. <laughs> <laughs> it's extraordinarily rare that you see the Atlantic Ocean like this. Nice day to be out there, although you're not sailing very much. Yeah, you can see it there. Look, that's a great view. Yeah, right there. Right there. Wow, they put they put a rope on it. That's oh yeah. yeah that's nice. Smart. And you know what? You can't get enough of this. No. So beautiful. And I like that view over there. All right, Jeff's exercising now. Just like the people we saw this morning. Wait, do that again. No, it wasn't enough exercise there. How do you feel now? It's good, okay. Okay, so we told you a few days ago the sail does not fit and we confirmed it with almond sails. The one that we got is too big for our boat. It came off a of Leopard 45, but the new Leopard 45s that have the lounge overhead, the boom is longer by almost two feet, so the sail doesn't fit. So we're gonna take it down now, because um, you know putting it up for five and a half hours was just too much fun. So now we're gonna go the other way and, uh, and take it back. So you got all the way up there with no tools, huh? No tools. Adrian, normally, Adrian does all the work and I hand her the tools. This time she's getting the tools. Landon oh, no, no, from Sip and Pretty. You're, you're We're gonna try to help out. I don't know how much help we will be though. So that's why I got So this is a cutter. This is a wrenchy type of thing. A pair of pliers. You want me to cut the zip tie? Pliers? Y yes. Yep. This is like a thing that you stick things in and twist <laughs> it. And these are Allen wrenches. Okay. My favorite. Alright, let's see what She's already working. Jeff's still chatting. Yeah. That side's off. We're undoing the clue. This is not the clue. This is the tack. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to raise the main. We're going to drop these. Um, we're not going to take it off, but we're just going to drop, drop them. them. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to take this brake out and we're going to start sliding these cars out one by gotcha. one. And, okay. and the, then you kind of lay it out to try the to The difficulty it is that we have to flake it and we mm. only have this area in which to gotcha. flake it. Um, which is fine because it has to be that small to fit in the bag anyway, mm -hmm. but it's really, really hard. But you use the halyard to lower it down yeah, as so you're Yeah, so we'll go down it. slow. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah cool. All right. 
Okay, this is Ted from Lucky. Coming in to help out. See these guys? They have to come off of this plastic. Jeff's still not doing much. I'm supervising. Do you want to stand up and take the battens out as it goes up, or you want to take them out as it comes down? What do you prefer? I don't care. But you missed the first one, so. Okay. Yeah, let's keep down. No, it's, it's easier when it's down. Okay. Yeah, it's easier when it's down. Oh, as it comes down, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Is why it? are you raising it first okay, to so take come it down? Over here and I'll show you. Don't trip over that. Okay. So this is a brake. These are the cars, right? They run up this track, and then this is a brake. This yeah, keeps it from falling down. So in order to take the main off, we have to pull this off, and then all the cars will slide off this track. I'm freaking off. Yeah, I think one's good. You're going to flank it one way, right? Yeah. We'll just do this side. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oops, yeah, tie the thing. What I forgot to uh, unhook it. Yeah, one more. If you want to hold it, I climb up there and do it. Either that or you hold it and I'll climb. Whichever. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. I saw a thumbnail in there somewhere. <laughs> awesome. Sweet. So I've actually never seen it like this. What keeps it from falling out? Magic. <laughs> oh, it's just a set screw. Okay. Or, or a set screw. Okay. I like magic. All right, so, so you wanna... we want to pull these down and then take them off as they come down. Okay. Yeah. okay, what are we doing now? We're taking these cars off. These are not the Harkin cars, which I really want, because they have ball bearings, but then you need a new track. It's all ball bearings. It's all ball bearings. <laughs> it's all ball bearings. <laughs> My favorite movie ever flashed. Trying to get the baton out. There we go. Awesome. There's a shark. The shark is here to That's see okay. what we're all up to. We need to go down before we put the other one up and cool off. Oh, we're putting one up too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know what you signed up for, I did, did you? not. Good right, thing I'm the cameraman. the bag, right? Woman. So, yeah. No? I've got the easy job. We're going to put this in the bag. Okay. Um, and Stacy. So. Okay. Hey, has the second so easiest job. Yeah, I'm so holding this one. rope and it's very important. <laughs> very. The line. Yeah, the, the line. <laughs> the line. Okay, we have a boat. Yeah, she's the tool handler. Okay, back on. need to come down more. Oh my God, it's hot. It's extremely hot. It's hot as we we the hottest day, the hottest time, the hottest, <sighs> all the things. All right, I have to replace the battery. And now I'm fascinated with this shark. Now look at the giant turtle down there. See him in the water? Oh yes. Everybody's coming out to see what we're all up to. Yep. The magic trick is, yeah. it, pull. it has okay, to fit in this bag. I think you have to are there any cards the on the top? Like a cinnamon roll. I think you might want to pull again. Yeah. Probably yeah. Jesus. Mm. It's like a bull. Yes. See how much you guys are learning? Yes! <laughs> You're so lucky you got to do this with us. <laughs> Alright, now they're strapping on. They're strapping on. Strapping on. Strapping on, boys. Strapping on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is about what I'm used to. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I know. It's I like know. one of those extra large magnets. Okay, hold on. Oh, you call it extra large? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! We did it! I'm going to use the halyard to put this down, but we got turn. You got turn. Mm -hmm. Yep, farm boy. <laughs> All the Holy muscles shit. showed up to the house. I cannot believe we got this. Alright, let's see y'all's muscles. Yep. Woo. Babe, <laughs> nice. <laughs> They're just gonna manhandle it. And Jeff, doing nothing. <laughs> hey, don't 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 scuff my boat. Yeah. All right, the new old sail. That's right. <laughs> it's gonna come back up with the spinnaker. Hey, hey, hey. 
Hey, hey! That was great. That was much easier. All right, so we had a water break. We watched a turtle. Oh, that's a huge There's one. There's a big one out here. We were watching a little baby on the other side. And now we're back to work to hoist the old main. Yeah. Uh, catfish whiskers. Yeah, whiskers. Mm -hmm. the, the fins are nice thick. The other ones are much thinner on those. Yeah. This goes in there. You got 3.8 knots of weight. Doesn't feel like 3.8 knots yet. It feels like none at all. None. Uh, I know. I know when our toes are getting oh. stopped. Right on this side, we gotta get this going. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing there, Jeff? I am putting the uh, the battens back in, and I'm kind of cinching them back in. But. I never, no one, I never get any video of me doing stuff. Well, so you guys are witnesses that I do stuff. We are. <laughs> These lines look good. Oh my god. Check that off your list. This looks good. Holy crap. It's awesome. Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy. We're Done and busted. Now. I can tighten that if you want. I don't think so. I think it's good. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I let it down and you flake it. <clears throat> Yay! I'm so happy! Is it, uh, is it totally off? Totally off. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Everybody Woo round of applause! So in the captain, well, and I'm not gonna land. <laughs>